Did you ever did you ever run into Suge when y'all was making any of these uh films? Yeah, you did with uh, um, Frank Alexander. I remember you telling us yeah, about I, that I, last I, time. I, yeah, I did think I told you other? that story about the, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that was a scene. Frank was gonna kill Suge. You know, I'm glad he didn't because he would have he would have died knowing that he didn't do the right thing. So I'm glad that. Yeah. He Tell us happen. about that again, Not, RJ, real quick, if you don't care. Um, no, no. Frank Alexander no. was. Uh, was about to kill Suge. I mean, how close was it? It was it was uh, maybe twelve feet. Um, we mm. were in the uh, we were in Las Vegas. It was a two thousand and nine, and we were at the mm. Las Vegas uh, uh, clothing show. It's like a design show called the Magic Show. It's a big fashion show there. Frank was doing bodyguard protective services for one of a a, a clothing vendor. He did T shirts and stuff. And he had a booth there at the show on the on the main floor where you go out and you look at all the different exhibitors. And uh, he was he he was providing security for that dude. And he had he had an ankle holster that had a Smith and Wesson 38 snub nose in it. And then he had his Beretta tucked on the side, which had 13. And and uh, he he was he was proud to carry him around, proud to wear him. If we got word as we were standing there, Frank's face just turned all kinds. Somebody whispered something in Frank's ear, kind of like Tupac whispered in his ear. And Frank's face got just stone cold. And and I've been mm. friends with Frank going on, well, almost 10 years at that point. No, it's 13 years at that point. Uh, that right, so Frank. you know him real fairly well at this I, point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and I'd never seen that look on his face before. And I said, what's wrong? And he says, and he looks at me and says, shove down the next aisle, and he's fixing to walk this way around. And uh, somebody just came up and told me that. And I said, mm. wow, really? And he said, that nigger comes up and he were around here. I'm going to shoot him square between the eyes. I will kill him. <laughs> and I said, I, and I, of course, the first thing I think, I'm like, no, I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it, you know. And he goes, no, you don't understand. He looks sideways at me for any reason. I will kill him today. I am ready to die myself. I am prepared for this, and I have no problem with it. Mm. And I was, and the, the conviction that he said that with, man, it made a hole in my stomach. And and of course, you know me because that the nature of our relationship, I was trying to make light mm-hmm. of it. So I told him, I said, "Well, if you're going to do that, let me go get my video camera." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that would make a great. I said but that would make a great. Yeah, you, 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 you had to have been. Uh, you had to have been. I'm about like, to say you're trying to walk him off the ledge. It's going to be a homicide right now. <laughs> well, that yeah. was it, and I. But but I I believed. And what ended up happening was Suge, instead of turning in to go down our lane, he turned the other way and went down the other lane. And I'm not sure if that was choice or just good fortune, but that was a, a about as near miss as I want to get in terms of all shit breaking loose at, in Vegas. Again, yeah, he, again. 